morning. K rend in the rain today. So we're doing more K rend repairs. We've just arrived on on this job. Um, this is actually being run by a builder. Um, they've just got us in to do the K rend repairs. They're still cutting off. We're just going to set up here. It is quite wet, so um, see what we can do in form of a uh, protection. Um, let's see what here. So we're just uh, not really. It's not started yet, really. We're just preparing it. So we put some brick tape around the brand new stones. So we don't want to stain those. And then we'll put the we are all sheeted up now, as you can see. Um, the builders are cracking on cutting cutting the rest of the render, but we are now going to start preparing this section. We've just fitted uh, the bell beads to two small sections, and now we're going to apply the primer. <laughs> Doing some more prep round here now. So now we are getting on with this one. That has all been primed and SBR'd, beads fixed. So this one has got the bead missing on the top left corner there. So we'll be fixing that up. And it's all sheeted, prepared and SBR'd as well. So we have now fully protected um, all around the original um, one of you and fully protected the window, the door, and there's some beautiful big slidey doors here. This is all ready to have the render applied. If you notice up there, we've got all those clips ready because this is autumn, not ideal, some might say, for rendering. But once we've done this, we will then be clipping it all up and protecting it putting sheets over everything to protect it from any possible or in this case very likely rain. So the first coat's been applied. We're now, as you can see, Chris has just finished off the last little bit. It's all been ruled off as well, flat. Uh, kept that little bit back from where we want it to go. We're gonna give that a few more minutes, uh, maybe half an hour or so, and then we will put another coat over the top that we will then leave this evening. We will fully sheet and protect from the weather. And then tomorrow morning, we will come back and uh, scrape it all back. Right, we've uh, now gone past bewitching hour, which we don't normally like to do. But as the clocks went back last week, that's uh, um, that's contributed a little bit. We're almost done though. So Chris is just finishing off that little bit there, you can see. And then we will be sheeting all this down because there is forecast some storms. Uh, what's the name of the storm? Chris? Kieran. Kieran storm Kieran apparently tonight. So um, fingers crossed uh, we protect it well and it's okay tomorrow.
and we are fully sheeted up ready for the storms tonight again it's not 100% watertight but it should be plenty well enough protected for the render that we've applied today so um, now we shall see see you tomorrow morning see how it does fingers crossed just on the way to work the following day it's a glorious eight or nine degrees i think it's about 50 was that 48 degrees fahrenheit i think something like that and it is lovely and typical english drizzle and rain so we shall see how the uh, wall has fared up uh, we have just arrived and uh, that fell off in the storms last night but everything else is intact and it feels reasonably firm which is good news test yeah that is nice and firm you just get your fingernail in there I don't know if you can see that Okay, we're cracking on. It's still uh, quite drizzly. You can hear that rain. This side is great. Chris is under here. Somewhere all the way down there. Hello. <laughs> now, I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of plasterers anyway, renderers would say, why on earth are you doing it in the rain? Just wait for a dry day. Well, that's fine if you don't have much work booked in, but we have lots of work all booked up with lots of jobs. Uh, we don't want to let anyone down. So we will crack on regardless, assuming it doesn't drop below five degrees, which it won't. Um, and assuming it's safe to do. All it is is wet for us, really. That's all protected. So we're going to do the lines next. And then once we've got this section done, we're going to move around to here and start on here. This should actually be much easier because we'll be able to clip the tarpaulings to the stones at the top there and straight over the fence to create a nice little uh, waterproof dry area. So we've got the, got the lines in on this section now. Looking pretty good. We're just giving it a brush. So you brush off basically all the loose dust. You give it a good brush. It feels like you could just brush it indefinitely, to be honest. So you brush, brush all the excess loose, and then we will remove the protection, and then we will move over to that side. Got a very moment. Oh no, it's still raining, but uh, only really light rain, so it's not, it's not too bad really.
and over here this is doing these ones very nicely there and then we'll do the long one across the top so this back is all done 